in invertebrates uh, the endocrinology is framed by the simple form of the endocrinology endocrine glands so in invertebrates the endocrine glands are formed in the simple way okay so eyes will eyes in vertebrates the endocrine system possesses a large number of hormones large number of hormones see ones in invertebrates so in that endocrine system or endocrine glands possesses a simple form of hormones simple form of hormones right so as well as in that vertebrates the endocrine system possesses a large number of hormones so it works uh, is uh, works uh, more effectively okay right so see once here the endocrine glands is the term endocrine glands or system endocrine system is the word derived from the greek language word where where do where do we get uh, this type of this word that means greek language okay right here the term of endocrine gland or endocrine system means endo means endo means inner and within with in right so in crime means secrets secrets or away right the term of the endocrine system is derived by the greek language the word of endo means etymology of the uh, endocrine system is endo means inner or within crime means uh, secrets or away so the secretions of the hormones from the glands to the blood and the uh, the secretions are transported to the different tissues and organs by the way by away the sites site of secretion by the site of secretion okay so site of the secretions it is uh, transported from the site secretions okay Uh, transported away from the blood to uh, different body parts okay the endocrine system or endocrine glands works more effectively or large larger activities activities such as digestion metabolism metabolism and next uh, growth development and uh, reproduction and uh, reproduction uh, so the endocrine system works as the large activities such as digestion metabolism growth development and reproduction so as well as the endocrine Uh, glands are a system works in uh, uh, less activities are uh, uh, smaller qu- smaller uh, functions uh, and they are decayed by the are degraded by the they are degraded by the by tissues tissues degraded by the tissues and they are excreted through the urine and bile urine and by okay so right next let's see that on the basis of on the basis of the hormones are categorized into three parts okay three parts let's see that one first one is amine hormone amine hormones second one is protein and peptide hormones 
पेप्टाइड हार्मोन्स थर्ड वन इज स्टीराइड हार्मोन्स स्टीराइड हार्मोन्स सो ऑन द केमिकल नेचर ऑफ द हार्मोन्स दे आर सब डिवाइडेड इनटू और दे आर कैटेगराइज्ड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स दे आर फर्स्ट वन इज अमाइन हार्मोन्स प्रोटीन एंड पेप्टोन पेप्टाइड हार्मोन्स थर्ड वन इज स्टीराइड हार्मोन्स लेट्स सी दैट अमाइन हार्मोन्स see here these amine hormones are derived or derivated from derivated from single amino acid single amino acid right single amino acids so they are the nature of they are they are in amine nature they are in amine nature so amine hormones are derivated from the single amino acids they are in amine nature for example here catecholamines catecholamines that is belongs to the included to the uh, epinephrine 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 nor epinephrine nor epinephrine epinephrine and thyroxine thyroxine and tyrosine tyrosine 